Hello YouTube, I am Lena with Lena Couponing to Save. Welcome to my channel. Today I went to CVS. I did one transaction and this is the buy three for $15, get a $5 extra care book. Now the reason why I took advantage of this deal today is because in my mail, I received coupons from CVS. Okay, and one of the coupons was a $3 extra care buck. Another one was a save three when you spend 10 on the paper products listed in front of you. And it also included the Scott's toilet paper, the two free. I also had a, and I'm going to show you because this is what they look like. Okay, dollar off a purchase, $5 or more for Wet n Wild Cosmetic. And you see this expires. October the 3rd, and this is a CVS coupon. I also got one for St. Ives. Okay? So I wanted to take advantage of these for this week since we had these exact items on sale. Now, at times I will get email coupons as well from CVS. Okay, so once I did that, I rolled some extra care bucks, um, and my total came out to 78 cents out of pocket, and I did get back a $5 extra care buck somewhere down there, and a $3 beauty buck. Okay, but my reason for um, sharing this with you guys is I want to make sure that you're getting all the perks that CVS has to offer, along with the... Um, the mail that I received yesterday, I got a 10 off 40 and beauty products. Yes, I want to say beauty products. 10 off of 40. So it's very important that you guys are given the exact phone number. You're giving your a real legit email address. It don't have to be your personal every day. You can create an email and um, just for couponing and use that to set up just for like CVS, your Rite Aid, your Walgreens, your grocery stores, you know, things like that, your Target. Because you are, you will be surprised on what kind of emails that you get. Um, very seldom would I not check my email. So I make sure that I try to just because of things like this. That 10 or 40 shocked me. And a lot of times they do it for beauty so make sure you're checking it. And on Thursday, you will get it. If for some reason you've you've gotten emails on Thursday where you get a 20% off or a 30% off or maybe a, a um, 4 off 20 or 5 off 20 or something like that, and then they stopped, this is what I want you to try. Log into your account on CVS.com and go into your settings. I will put the exact steps down there but if you've done this before where you can unsubscribe from getting those emails i want you to do that for at least 48 hours at least two days okay and then i want you to go back in and select it to subscribe again okay and what i want i need you to do is try to do it like on the weekend so we can see if we're getting some activity starting the beginning of the week Okay, so around Sunday, Monday, you should get some some type of email telling you about the ad, the great savings. It'll um you'll get emails telling you about how there is um they selected the cart and did everything according to how you shop at the store. You'll get emails about that, and then that is starting to get you set up so you know soon you will be getting a coupon coming. Okay, I don't get coupons in my email every Thursday, but the, I do get them. Okay, alrighty, guys, I hope this helped. If you had problems before, um, let me know, and let's let's try to help each other so we can get these going. Make sure that CVS on your um email account when you go into cvs.com make sure your address is updated because you may be getting these coupons in the mail but they're going to another address so make sure that your um, information is correct Rite Aid does this as well 
as Walgreens. And I also get um, email coupon, I mean, mailed coupons from Kroger. So you want to make sure that your address and information, your personal information is correct and it's updated. All right, guys. All right. We're going to continue to save. All right. Until next video. Bye-bye.